Hey Denton, I am so excited to share my interview I just did with Katie Cohen. She is the founder and owner of Demeter's Kitchen, which is a Denton-based bakery. She specializes in whole grain bread, and it is not only absolutely delicious, it's really healthy. And she goes into a little bit about that in our interview, as well as her origin story, which is super inspirational. So definitely check it out. We talked so much after we stopped recording that we decided that we're definitely gonna at least have a, have a part two, maybe a part three. So um, she'll be at the community markets this season in Denton, um, but you can also sign up for her weekly menu and she partners with some local places around town that you can get your um, fresh baked goods every week. My name is Katie, uh, founder and owner of Demeter's Kitchen in Denton, Texas. And I moved to Denton a little over a year ago and immediately started trying to see where the type of bread that I've learned to make and love could fit. And fast forward a year and a half, and we've been, we've moved on from creating menus for breweries to now offering more direct to consumer breads at markets. We do pickups from our home um, on Houston place. And yeah, we're looking to grow in 2021 and keep on honing and refining our skills and understanding of whole grains, because what we really want to do is change the way that people relate to bread. And I could probably talk about that a whole lot, but I'll stop there. <laughs> so besides just eating, because I like to eat, what are some other ways I can be thinking about bread or what are your goals for your kind, your, what you're doing? Well, bread has gotten a really bad nutritional rap. You know, it's seen as this high carb food and it's fattening and Sometimes people walk by my booth and they'll be like, I'm keto, you know, like, no, no, like they don't want any part of it. And while everyone has their own journey with their health and their dietary lifestyle, we're really trying to help educate and inform our customers by sharing whole grains. And whole grains are very different than what we are typically used to eating in, you know, this carbs sort of idea, like, oh, I'm low carb. It's like, yeah, cookies and pretzels, they all have only a certain part of the wheat berry. And the wheat berry has three parts, the endosperm, the bran, and the germ. And most of our, you know, donuts and all these things that we believe are unhealthy have just the endosperm. So we use all three parts of the wheat berry, which have a lot of fiber and protein. And these are really nutritious foods. People have relied on them for centuries to sustain themselves. And that's kind of what we're trying to bring back is that when you eat whole grains, non-GMO, organically grown, like the ones that we source, you're putting a nutritious food into your body. It's not a carrot, it's not broccoli, but it's satisfying, it's satiating, it's nourishing. And that's really what we're all about and what we're trying to share. I love knowing that. So that actually puts just a whole nother level of pleasure I can take whenever I'm enjoying one of your, your creations now. So thank yeah. you for sharing that. Um, how did you get into the bread making business? And can you tell us a little bit about the name, the meaning behind the name Demeter's Kitchen? Sure. So I'll start with the name behind Demeter's Kitchen. Um, Demeter is the Greek goddess of wheat harvest and bread. And her story or her myth and her daughter, kind of the two of them together, is how the Greeks understood when to harvest, to plant, to sow seeds. So I just really adore, it's called the Hymn of Demeter, if you want to check it out. It's a, a longer story of Demeter, and the Greeks just looked to her like a symbol in her story. And so that's kind of where we draw our inspiration from. She was a very nurturing, motherly goddess and known as a peacemaker, and we really like all of that about her tale. And so how did you get started? Um, I got started after working in a corporate job for a handful of years right out of college. And I really wasn't happy there. Um, something about it just didn't feel right. And so I started just kind of like taking classes and getting involved in various ways, just trying to look for like maybe what my next career path could be. And, you know, twists and turns, I wound up in the food industry and working in Houston um, that was the place that I first really fell in love with food and how it's made, the process by which it's made. Like a lot of the things they did there, everything was made from scratch and everything was a process. And so I felt like I started to get a little more patience and understanding with that. Um, and in addition to learning about food and falling in love with how it's made, 
I struggled with my own relationship to health. And that was one of the many classes that I took was nutrition courses. Um, I always felt like there's this like divide between food and health and women and body image. And I mean, I definitely struggled with that. And at times I still do. Um, but I eventually stumbled into bread. I was making it at home, working in the food industry, and I was hooked. So I just started, I got an apprenticeship in San Francisco. Um, I used that apprenticeship to get a job in Portland, Oregon. And then my partner, uh, we wound up moving to Cambridge, Massachusetts, worked in a kitchen there, always had my hand in bread. And it was the thing that I just loved to do. Um, I loved the whole grains. That was a Portland thing. I kind of learned that there. They milled their grains fresh, wood fired oven. Um, and honestly, I just saw my own relationship with, with certain foods transform. You know how bread, you know, cakes, baked goods, they're kind of looked at as like, yeah, these unhealthy foods. And I think through being in the food industry, I A, learned what bread makes me feel good because I love bread and I wanna eat it and I wanna eat it in the best possible way, not only for flavor, but for nourishment and nutrition. And I also learned to accept treats and to be okay with the fact that it's like some things are made with love and intention and you're allowed to enjoy them with your own mindfulness, you know? So I feel like that's kind of a long roundabout story, but that's how my relationship with food is. I just feel like I have had ups and downs with it. And currently I'm still in a stage of figuring it out and bread happens to be where it's at right now. That is so cool. And I think just hearing you talk about some of the challenges you had with food and body image is so relatable. And the fact that you decided to just kind of dive in head first to explore that and like take it head on, that's like super inspiring. I was going to ask you um, if you've got any big plans for maybe 2021 or just the next few months or a couple of years for Demeter's Kitchen. Well, for 2021, we do have lots of big plans. We've moved from an apartment um, into a home and I'm sitting in our cottage bakery right now, which is much, much larger. It's about the size of our apartment, um, what it used to be. So we are wow. <laughs> in a new space. We have three new team members, um, new, you know, some are newer than others. Um, we have two new markets we're adding onto our weekend roundup. And kind of our focus is to first, we will first always go with quality. You know, there's this tension between production, which enables us to get this kind of bread that we really want people to understand, relate to, and want in their daily lives to holding and making sure we maintain our quality and in enhance it because I don't feel like I'm a bread master at all. Like I still have so much to learn and so many things I want to better understand and hone. So kind of my goal is not necessarily finding balance, but accepting the limits that we have based on weather, based on number of baskets, um, you know, oven space and creatively solving those problems. So that's kind of our goal for 2021 is to execute what we've set out to do in the highest quality way that we can, because we really do want people's first experience with our product to be special and to be memorable and not to be average. Awesome. I definitely can tell you at least and share with anybody watching that, um, uh, my experience definitely lived up to that goal that you have. I think we were at the uh, community market on the holiday um, the holiday one that they had, and it was pretty cold. I think I remember, and, but you, and I think it might've been your partner were there and, um, we're just making sure that everybody was taken care of, even though it was kind of busy and chaotic and you didn't really have anything on hand. And, um, not only was the customer service amazing, but when we finally were able to get to try it, it was just so good that we even gave it out as gifts that, um, holiday. So it was pretty, a pretty big hit. So, I think you're already doing what you're setting out to do. And I can't wait to see what you guys um, have for us this year. I know I got to sample some really delicious new bread that you had last week. So thank you for that. Um, and so for anybody else who wants to either um, follow what you guys have going on or maybe try you guys out for the first time, where can they learn about you and support you? 
Well, you can definitely go to DemetriusKitchen.com and you can sign up for our weekly menu. That is kind of the way to order and get a, a bread from us on a Thursday. We have a few different pickup locations. We like to work with local um, coffee shops, bottle shops. Um, what else do we have? Oh, a wine, I'm sorry, a wine bar. This is a way that we hope people can experience our bread and frequent a really great drinkery. So if you sign up for our weekly menu, you can kind of get that into your inbox on Monday. You're prompted to, you know, pick something if it's looking good to you, and then you can pick it up from any of those locations. Um, we also are on Instagram, of course, as most are on Demeter's Kitchen, um, at Demeter's Kitchen. And otherwise, we hope to see you at some of the markets. We are hopeful that once COVID, um, once we're in a place where we feel comfortable having people in our cottage bakery, we can do some classes or some pop-ups where people can really experience some of our breads or pizzas or things that we're kind of working on on a smaller scale that we're not really ready to release in larger quantities. Oh, that's so exciting. I would totally be down for that whenever it's appropriate. <laughs> so I will definitely be signing up for those, uh, those weekly newsletters. Well, thank you so much for your time. And I cannot wait to see you out at the market. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.